My name is Roshi John. I did my PhD in robotics from a National Institute of Technology in India. Technology is going to support manufacturing. Technology is going to help people get more jobs, more highly paid jobs, not just normal jobs. And technology is going to, you know, we need more people who are interested in technology for the future generations to come to, to work out new, uh, new technology concepts, new, new problems which uh, the future may throw us. So it's all around us. It could be a mechanical system, it could be software, it could be a combination of all these things. It could be, you know, anything from anything which you can imagine. The best thing with engineers is that they can think on, a, on, a, on, a, on an implementation kind of a way. They can see problems, they can see problems and they, can, they should be able to think about solutions. Uh, which could which could you know help people solve you know the the problems which they face face day to day on a day to day basis. Um, it could be um, anything from solving uh, or creating a simple mechanism which uses your uh, your day to day activities to even much more complicated devices which could make you conquer uh, the, the 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 planets or any of those things. So it has so much of an importance, uh, you know, as an engineer. The engineers have the ability to think um, on, a, on a skill which is, which is, which is on, a, on, a, on a stepwise solving problems. And they, they, will be, they should be able to visualize uh, the solutions for problems which they see on a daily basis. The, the fundamental thing which artificial intelligence is going to do in the future is moving people from doing repetitive jobs to much more creative jobs moving people who are who are who are making who are doing boring jobs boring jobs in the sense like maybe cleaning the floor or maybe driving a vehicle or driving you know because we all, we humans all all are like will get bored to some something which is like which we are which we are continuously doing so the artificial intelligence system would complement the person or or support the person who is doing it to do it in a much efficient way much it it could be anything from banking to retail to to manufacturing to automotive sector to to any of these uh, areas where you know the the machine does most of the thinking and it support the person or or people who are who are actually doing it it could be um you know at this point of time you cannot imagine uh, driving 10 cars all together right so in the future, it's going to be having Uber-like services where only one person will be controlling 20 cars. So it means like all of us, like the, the future people would like to, um, you know, hire all these driverless taxis or they don't want to want to own vehicles. But all these kinds of things will support. And, and moreover, we will have much more safer roads in, on the... Uh, on a, on a, on a, if we see on highways or on or any of these places, we'll have much more safer uh, places to live, much more exciting things to do, and and a completely new um, uh, level of uh, you know user experience which helps all these things. It is going to be the the fundamental of of creating the future. Um, it is like uh, you know creating um, uh, the foundation, the foundation in the sense like uh, uh, it would be it would be more like. Uh, you, you are actually creating, on a, on, a, on a technology scale, if you see, you are actually creating uh, systems which will, be, which will become the foundation for the future generations to come. And that will become the foundation for the another next future generations to come. So after some, some decades, it will be like much more advanced in engineering and our, our, our community or our, our, the people in, on, on Earth or the people on all the, you know, collectively will be having so much of technological knowledge um, which could be, which could solve some of the problems which we foresee on a daily basis these days. So this is this is what see what is what is required for for an engineering kind of a for a scale which is which is being required today. So we need to uh, have more engineers. We need to bring in groom of more engineers and and make them do solve problems which are which are challenges and in in in, in this day or maybe today. So we'll have a new set of challenges which is coming tomorrow and, and we'll have a better future all of all together. Mm -hmm.